Hi there, it's real estate coach Josh Vegan, and welcome to this week's coaching tip. Today we're going to talk about how clients determine the fee. And this is a really important part of the real estate industry, particularly as the attention turns to what agents charge. We've seen new fixed fee discounters come into the marketplace and also too other agents start to panic when it comes to selling their services. So how is it that a vendor or a potential seller identifies the fee that they're going to pay? Now I'm a big believer that it's everything that you do leading up to the point where you get to discuss the fee that actually determines the fee. Now why is this the case? Well we know that we've got completely different levels of service between what the reject shop might do and what Louis Vuitton might do in their serving of you as a customer when you go to buy a t-shirt. Well it's exactly the same in real estate. Your response rate when you get to meet people through inquiring online, how you work with people at Open for Inspections and also the quality of your lead sources will determine the fees that you actually get to charge. And it's really important that you think about your attention to detail. You see, great agents think differently about how they go to work with their clients because they operate in a no competition space. And what do I mean by operating in a no competition space? You don't worry about what your competitors do, instead you worry about what you're doing. Let's have a look about how you could really improve that customer experience curve. Let's say for example that you go out to a market appraisal. What are the things that you then do post market appraisal leading up to the point where you get to come back for the listing presentation? Do you, for example, send them an email for follow-up, maybe a video for follow-up, but even more importantly, start to think about where the customer's going to be hanging out before they even need to use you again. So let's say, for example, that you have identified that you've done the market appraisal on them. What would happen if you then take them and put them into a Facebook custom audience? And then you then serve them videos about what you can do in order to be able to maximise your sale price. Also, in addition to that, the important elements in a marketing campaign when selling your home. Now all of a sudden they're scrolling through their social feeds and now they see you right there and then talking about what it is that they can do in order to be able to maximise sale price. Now not only are you increasing brand awareness, you're also showing your marketing capabilities in being where the customer is. It's also about what you do in leading up to the appointment that's critically important. From calendar invites to emails of confirmations, SMSs with links to video for them to watch of testimonials of other clients that are currently using your services. But it's also in, in addition to that, your market knowledge when you get there, your personal presentation and the style of your conversation to ensure that it's really about identifying the needs and allaying the fears of the customer. Now the more that you do that, the more that you actually get the opportunity to be able to charge a much higher fee. And this is critically important. You see most real estate agents in our country don't actually understand the cost of service. And what do I mean by that? The cost that it actually takes for you to actually serve the customer. So what does it actually really cost your estate agency to actually sell a home? Now we're not just talking about the marketing costs, we're talking about the rent or the operational expenses of the business, but also in addition to that, all of the people that are working in that business behind the scenes to actually get that property sold. Now if you don't know what the costs are, then how can you put an appropriate margin on to actually really get yourself into a position of real profitability when you actually go to sell houses? Now what most agents do is that they might listen to what other owners are telling them that other agents are actually charging in the area. Now that doesn't mean that those agents are actually A, good at what they do, B, actually offer a same level of service, or C, actually even really understand what it is that they need to be charging in order to make a profit. But even worse than that, you don't even know if that's actually the fee that they were charging or whether or not the client's just testing you and you actually fall for it. And this is kind of interesting when you look at other service providers like say Officeworks, if they go to meet or beat one of their competitors on pricing and guarantee that, they actually ask you to bring in an advertisement that actually shows that pricing on that particular good or service. Now this is critically important when you're thinking about it from a real estate perspective. You see, it's everything that you do as an agent that really does determine that fee. And what you've got to start to do now is to think about what you're actually charging because what you're charging is a massively important component to you being highly profitable as an agent. And being profitable isn't something that's an option, it's an absolute requirement because it gives you the resources that allow you to be a much better agent. What's really important here is about how you determine the fee to establish where you sit in the estate agency arena so people can make a better decision to use a better service at a much more valuable price point because of what it is that you do as an agent, not just because you're cheap, but most importantly because you're of value in that marketplace. 
Well, I really hope that you've enjoyed this week's coaching tip and I look forward to seeing you next week.